Hello students, welcome back to Painting 2. We're looking at the techniques of Caravaggio today. So I have the start of stage 2 for this. Um, here's some old examples, kind of showing you some different steps as we go through. Here is the palette that we're more or less trying to use. So it's very much like Rembrandt, um, plus like a black and a red ochre. And here's where we started on stage one on the left. And this is where we're going to end up on stage two on the right. So what I'm trying to do here at the start is kind of block everything in. We're going to start off by adding in um, the dark background. Um, I am going to come back in and change that value, but I wanted to start with kind of a darker look to it. This stage of the painting, you start with transparent block in to get the basic light and shadow pattern, which dries pretty quickly. And then here in stage two, on the second day, we're going to go back into that and repaint the whole thing using a grisaille method. So we're using black, burnt umber, and white. We can use any of those in any amount that we want to create this portrait and really set up the light and shadow. If anything, you might end up a little bit on the lighter side because with Caravaggio's style and how he paints, you slowly block things in and then you can start to glaze on top. So um, rather than sit here and narrate every little bit of this, uh, we'll come back a little bit later in the demonstration and talk about what we've been doing. So now that we've 
blocked in all of the darks, kind of brought in that brown black value. Now I'm working into the lights, um, mixing white into the burnt umber. It gives you a very cool kind of grayish color. And that's where a lot of the grisaille idea comes from. Um, I blocked in everything kind of very thinly at first. And so now I'm grabbing some extra white and starting to bring those values up even higher. The idea is the more that we can bring a lot of those values up, the more that we're going to get that full range of value and you're going to get that very strong light and shadow contrast that Caravaggio is known for. So kind of like putting in little pieces of paint and then using that brush once it kind of cleans out and gets rid of the paint to spread that out, soften some edges and kind of push those values, blend them into the areas that are surrounding that area. So a lot of this, you can see me just pushing very lightly, just barely touching the surface, trying to spread out the paint, spread out the highlight, or bring a little bit more value to a certain area. It's okay if even here on the shadow side, we end up with a few areas that are a little bit lighter than maybe they need to be. Um, glazing is a very easy way to slowly bring values down and darker. So keeping things on the light side gives you a lot of room to build a glaze into something or a velatura, you know, a little bit more opaque version of a glaze.
So as you can see, we've kind of been building up the darks, and then building up the lights. It's that push and pull process of adding highlights, maybe kind of blending them into a certain area, adding shadows, blending that in, and kind of filling in the little pieces in between what we've started. Um, the neck looked a little too uh, rough for me, so I've kind of blended it out, and then I'm going to add some hairs kind of moving back over and through there. Here we are at the very end, and I'm going to do just a quick look at the final painting. Look at some of the details, the different values, trying to define all the features. Some of it's still a little bit loose, but we'll address that in the next painting. See you then.